वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स आई एम टॉन मॉय सो टुडे आई शेल डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू अ क्वेश्चन अपीयर्ड इन के 2008 एंड दिस इज अबाउट अ द प्रॉब्लम इज व्हाट विल बी द रेट्रो आयोडाइन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस मटेरियल अंडर दिस कंडीशन सो सच टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स आर नॉट एक्चुअली डिफिकल्ट बट इट इज प्रीटी कंफ्यूजिंग बिकॉज लॉट्स ऑफ स्टीयर सेंटर्स आर देयर so it will take some time to explain easily i will try to explain very slowly such that you get the every points so i suggest you be patient and see and at the end of this discussion i will explain how to solve this problem within one minute let's start first of all so you can see this is a retro aldol means retro aldol means Retroaldol means breaking of aldol. What aldol produces? Aldol produces beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. For example, this is R one, R two. In this way, different function is R three. This is beta hydroxy. This is alpha. This is beta. This aldol produces beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. Okay, or alpha beta. Unsaturated carbonyl compound. This is okay. So this is the aldol condensation product. And if retroaldol happens, then the reverse. And in this context, you should remember one concept that is HOCC. This is a disconnection approach for alcohol. You can use this strategy to prepare alcohol, retrosynthesize alcohol. But we have to move the arrow in this way and in this way. What does it mean? If this bond go back and attach with carbon, then ca already carbon has previously four valency. So this then if this carbon will leave, what will be produced? For example, this carbon has so it will produce a carbon ion type, and this will produce a carbon ion type. Okay, so this is delta positive, this is delta negative. So this is the disconnection approach. You keep it in mind. This is called HOCC disconnection. so using this disconnection we will apply this concept in this aldol condensation so if we check this hocc disconnection this bond will come here and it will go back what it will produce it will will produce this r1 okay this and another thing this carbonyl r2 this is r minus here positive here okay this is the polarity now you can see this could be easily generated by enolates yeah by enols or enolates okay so it could be generated easily using acid or base so this is the strategy now another thing when a person set a paper he used to keep the factors in mind that the condition must be appropriate and this is true in this case also but before going to details i will draw the structure of this because uh, you need to understand properly and here drawing is very important so what thing this elimination could not possible because it will result in a bridge head double bond formation i will say first let me draw it properly and i suggest you please draw please practice this drawing properly if you learn to practice such drawing properly and you become efficient then the chances that is very high that you will not make any mistake during the exam but this practice is very essential so do this practice properly and another thing we should be careful because lots of stereochemically active centers are there in this molecule so that is actually not interfering but it may end up with confusion i'll show so this is alpha this is beta this is beta hydroxy similar so if this undergo dehydration what will be produced if this undergo dehydration it will produce a double bond here okay so you forget this this will produce a double bond and this is bridge head okay this position is bridge head and we know bridge head double bonds are 
very unstable due to excessive strain. So it will not produce. So under this condition, retrodules will be produced. So no dehydration will occur. You may argue that dehydration occur from this side. Yes, possible. But this condition will not happen. Instead of that, some other reaction will happen. There should be infinite chance that infinite numbers of product may produce from a reaction. But reaction will follow that track which is associated with minimum amount of energy or you can say minimum energy of activation, least, least energy of activation path. So this is this is alpha, this is beta. And now we will apply this HOCC disconnection approach here. Since retro the rest retro order, so this and this. So what will produce what will end up? So this bond, I will draw it a little better. This bond is going to break and carbon ion will be produced here. Negative charge you should go here and it became this center became positive let me draw it first i can draw in this way but if i draw it little better way then it must look like this okay so right now you can say this is a enolate it will be stable with the conjugation of this carbon group. okay and previously you must keep it in mind how many rings were there one two three four five Six, seven. This is a seven member ring. You can count, you can say that I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Then number is less. That's why we will count in this side. So right now this part of ring broken. So we can count in this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in this way we can count right now. So right now we have made six member ring. You can go directly from here to here for understanding. You can draw a cyclohexane ring and you can find out what should be the product. But I suggest you for your learning purpose, it is better for you, you first draw a chair, chair uh, model of cyclohexane. See, this is already is looking like that. That is the uniqueness of proper drawing. So it is already looking like chair. Just you fold it a little bit, you can see. So let me draw it again. This, this, this and this. So this is, and let's consider this thing one here. Similar position, I don't want to change, it may confuse. So this is, let's consider a carbon group. Then two, no substitution. Then three, no substitution. This is two, this is three. Now, in this four, there is a substitution. This is 4. So this is 5 and 6. Substitution is that if you tilt a little bit, then this will come down. This way. So where it will go? This will go because one hydrogen is here also in this way. So if it comes down, then it will be in axial CH2CHO. Or better you can write in this way because the question is mentioned in this way and this is hydrogen. Okay. Second, next option is 5. So if we tilt in this way, then this will go up. Okay. So what will look like? This is the double bond and this CH2 which will get in the equatorial position. Okay, then our drawing is complete. So if you draw in this way, there is less chance, there is chance that 100 percent you will not do mistake. But here, if you are smart enough and you have done enough practice, then you can directly shift from this to this. You can say, then skip this part. Now, let's draw. So everywhere, drawing started here. So let's consider this is one. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is one. Two, three, no substitution. Two, three, no substitution. Let's consider about 4. Let's consider 4. 4 means, or another thing I can suggest, in this way the substitution is going in the farthest. So instead of that you can do, you can consider 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5 and 6. Actually this is the general principle for nomenclature. This is 1. So, 
if we consider 2 is no substitution, 3 is above double bond. So, 3 is above double bond below CH2H. Above double bond and below CH2OH. Okay. 4. 4 is below CH2CHO and above hydrogen. 4 is below CH2CHO. CH two CH and above hydrogen. Okay, this is the actual drawing of the product. So I su suppose I suggest you must keep this fact in mind. If you can keep this fact in mind, there is a chance that you will not end up with mistakes. Now match with the options. For example. With respect to carbonyl, the fourth position must be CHO. This is the first thing. One ka fourth position. Carbonyl, fourth position. CHO. But you can see here, carbonyl fourth position is OH. So rejected. The here the actually producing six member. It is five members. So rejected. So and now right now you can see with respect to carbonyl four is CHO. Here the, also with respect to carbonyl four of CHO. Initially we have yeah, uh, remove two option using process of elimination. Now we have to think about two. So first option, CHO down, hydrogen up. CHO down, hydrogen up. This is also CHO down, hydrogen. CHO up, hydrogen down. So here also you can say, here also you can say that this is the answer. Sorry, CHO down, hydrogen up. This is the answer. Now this. Another thing. You can think in this way also. What? That in three number double bond is up, CH2OH is down. Double bond is up, CH2OH is down. But this is also same. So only the option, with, the decision will be made based on this center. That this CH2OH, this CH2OH is uh, down. Sorry, this CH2CHO is down, hydrogen is up. So this is the answer. This is the answer. So now. What is the tricks to solve such question? So this is important because I believe you can't spend that much time dealing in the example. So what trick you can follow? First, it is you have to keep it in mind few information. Retro wheel solder. What is retro wheel solder? It means the brokage of this bond produced during hydro condensation. Second, it is told already retro wheel solder, so you should not think about the visual double bond. Third point. So if if this reaction breaks, then this will break, here carbonyl will produce and you must keep it in mind about this HOCC disconnection. It will help you. Okay. So, now, another thing, if this ring broke, broken, how many rings forming? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in here 6, 5 is given, but if one option is given that none of this, then it, it is a confusion. So, 6 member will form. This is gone. This option is gone. Right now we have 3. And another thing. So, if it is gone, then you can clean this. Clean this part. And I suggest you, you please draw a separately this molecule with a pencil. And uh, wipe this out using a rubber. That will be easier. So, this and right now, you, you visualize this a little shift in this way. So, it will go up. This will come down. Now, which option it is go up and this is down? Means double bond is up, both option. But it is not. Here, another thing, here the position is different. So, you need to uh, check one thing that with respect to carbonyl, what is the double bond position? Carbonyl, double bond and which? Carbonyl, in between one carbon is there. But here, double bond and CH2H, in between two carbons there. So, this is eliminated. Right now, we left this and this. So right now you can see with respect to this center, 1, 3, it is inconclusive. Both is getting. Now after that, you can see, if you bend a little bit, this will come down, hydrogen will go up. This will come down, hydrogen up. So B is the answer. So I guess within one minute, this difficult problem you can solve. So what is essential for this? A cool mind, a proper understanding and drawing properly in a book, in, in your uh, separate sheet.
with a pencil and rubber. So in this way, you can do the answer of such problems very easily. Apparently, it looks like very difficult, although it is not. And I suggest you again, please do practice of drawing proper structure of cyclohexane or such type of things properly. So this is the end of the video. If you like my lecture, please give a like and share this video among your friends such that other people also get benefited from my effort. And please subscribe my channel to Institute of Mystery of Molecules and press that bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. So, see you in my next